Next, we all missed the Golden Girls. Oh, which one were you? I think I was Rose. Were you Rose? I like to think I was Blanche because she's like hot and fierce, but I'm the kind hope. of like a bimbo, so I think I'm definitely more Rose than Blanche. Every time my friends and I start talking about a sexual story about, you know, my my escapades in the in the past, um, one of my besties will say, Okay, wait, wait, is this a Blanche story? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, Yes, you got it right. So I was Blanche, but they always wanted to make me Dorothy because I'm 18 feet tall and awkward, but funny. I'll take it. You know what? Funny is good. Right? Like funny. And what was, and Sophia, I loved Sophia too. You know, um, well, we should always say, you know, picture it, Sicily, 1958. We say stuff like that. Aww. I miss them. I can't believe that. And now all four of them are dead. Can you guys believe that? Oh, Rose, Betty That's White. Oh. Anyway, so let's go. So now that all four of the actresses have passed away, we sadly will never see them quite the same way again. But Mike Hollingsworth, who worked as a supervising director for shows like BoJack Horseman, has created a new pilot episode of a special Golden Girls. The best part is that the entire original cast is returning. I know you might be wondering how that is, right? Well, it's Golden Girls 3033. The four roommates have found the Fountain of Youth and are still living in Miami in 3033. There's probably still construction on the Palmetto, even in 3033. Yeah. The show uses all original audio remix to tell a brand new story. Golden Girls fans, I hear you and I got you. Look at this. Golden Girls comes back in animation. What are we all talking about? That's awesome. I think it's going to be like really funny. And I like the idea of this. So it's like the little clip mm -hmm, that, that you saw. saw yeah. Like, they're remixing the original audio. So it's their voices. It's still them. It's just them in 3033 Miami. So they're doing it kind of like Mad Libs, like just taking the thing to like fill in the different spots. But it will it. but it will flow and it will have a storyline. I mean, they've got that many episodes where they're able to do that. I yeah. just I'm I'd love to see what the, you know, does Blanche sleep with one of the monsters in 3033 or does oh, like, you, you know, know she does. Right? You know she does. And does Sophia say like picture it, 1989. Like I don't <laughs> I don't know. I'm waiting for some tentacle jokes. Oh, my and, God. Uh, yeah. Some nipple jokes, all of that. I mean, but Golden Girls was just so incredible when they were out. And I, I still watch them today. Yeah. You know, uh, I, a logo. I think that's the only thing that they play now is Golden Girls on like a loop on Sunday. So I'll watch all of them. And they were so ahead of their time, Damien. Like, they were so ahead of their time. They definitely were. And I think there's also something to be said for, like, shows that keep it light like that. You know, it's mm -hmm. like nobody puts on an episode of the Golden Girls, watches it and walks away in a, with a bad mood. No. You know, no. Yeah. There's always a solution. Lighthearted. You know. And even when they like tackled rough issues like deportation, abortion, uh, trans rights. I mean, they hit all these um, all these subjects in the 80s, yeah. people. Yeah. And yet at the end, like you said, you still walked away feeling good. That's 40 years ago. The 80s. God, I'm old. <laughs> So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did, so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.